Hey, Internet, this is Steve at Thousand Years Homes, and this is my disappointed, I can't return something because I, I waited too long. I bought this in November, I'm beyond the 30 days, and it's not what I want. So I have to make that which I don't want to work, work, so, but I'll do it. All right, rotate. All righty, so uh, for a quick recap, it didn't come with the power that I was expecting. Uh, it, it didn't come, this is the pump, and the one they showed was a tiny pump and uh, that you could drop in a five gallon bucket uh that you, you know of uh the, the your typical as uh ozarka big big five gallon bucket anyway that doesn't work for me uh also the um the the hose doesn't have the on and off so so all right it's not what i want i beyond the return so i'm gonna make this work so but that's what I'm working on today. Leah's out here, so we're doing the, the Leah thing. She'll help me a little bit. But uh, let's let's take a look at some of my supplies. Oh, I stepped out, and everybody's telling me it's lunchtime. All right, get to your spots, please. No nonsense. Thank you. All right, let's get these guys fed. I'll be a few minutes doing that. All right, way out in my storage yard, I have couple of these stainless steel they might be aluminum uh, panels and I'm going to cut that down for the shelf for the water and that should work real good for that now, over here I have a water jug so I could cut one water jug up but that looks really battered I don't know and look I've got all kinds of dirt in it you know it would be fine if I had washed it out with some bleach water Anyway, nonetheless, I have one that I could cut up for an experiment. And uh, originally, originally, this was the water jug I wanted. I wanted to put a pipe down in that and do that. Now i got to cobble up something. I'm uh, kind of a little upset about the whole, whole scenario. But that's the third piece of the puzzle. I've got the plumbing all done on the sink. I've got the plumbing done on the bathtub. I just need to get the hot water heater working. And that's all, all those things that I just, a rack, this, maybe that other container that's looking pretty shabby. All right, so this is Steve at Thousand Year Home. I'm back to do, working on water again. So this little hot water tank that I am unhappy with, I went and looked real critically at the Amazon reviews. And the same complaint I have is is all over Amazon reviews. The no on and off switch, uh, the battery thing but i checked and i'm just outside of my return thing and I, it bundling it all up so i'm gonna make this 300 dollars device that wasn't what was advertised work for me uh people had hints on how to make it work for them first off uh they would get the uh the cigarette lighter adapters and you know you could get those from amazon that converts 110 volt to cigarette lighter so solve that problem and then uh, the way that they're all doing it is let me rotate. So they, uh, because there's no on and off switch to the, uh, to the shower head. See, they're no, right there is where it's supposed to be. And there's just nothing there. <laughs> so they leave the shower head in the bucket. They drop the pump in the bucket. And then when you turn on the, uh, the shower head, it cycles in the bucket. So you're not losing water. And then the other thing I didn't know is people say that you, they are using about four gallons per shower. So a five gallon bucket will work out perfect. So I have this, uh, that's where I believe the device is gonna be. And I've got some uh, wire that I can put here. And um, so that's the way that I'm gonna handle all that. Now it does crowd the bath, the shower up a little bit, but not so bad. So let's get this field shower done today. All right, I mean, your setup will vary, right? So, but let me, let me get this set up here. Just for now, just for temporary purposes. That way, if it leaks, it'll leak into the sink. Everybody says, just throw this bag away. So I won't use a bag at all. I showed that I had a bigger bag. Oh, look at that. I, I, while I was unscrewing it, it broke off. No. No, is it, it's just, that's, that's so chintzy. I wish you could look that. at that. I can't, I'm outside of the thing, you know? 
just unscrewing it. And that's it's so ridiculous. It, it's just so chintzy. All right. That's uh, nothing. It's trash. Are you not going to hang on to it? Uh, well, uh, everybody says that bag leaks. Oh, I gotcha. And so, uh, you know, if I hold on to it, it's just going to uh, make me aggravated. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. All right. Hey, this is, I'm going to leave it off because they've got little... Uh, suction valve. That way it won't stick. See how they've yeah. got the little notches? So I'll do that. And this, they've everybody says they drop it in a five gallon bucket. Mm -hmm. So that fits. That does fit there. This says intake, right? Alright. And then this is uh, let's read these. Can you see what's written on the back here? That's power, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, cigarette. Then this must be for this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So this this is too high, isn't it? So, but just by a little, I've got a little tension on that. If you have a lower one, you can put a lower. Well, one for with now. the wire rack there, yeah. it'll be just right. And then they said, put this down in there. Okay. Well, it, it, that's okay. And then fill that up. And then we're ready to, you know, do the first test fire on it. All right. Okay, so here's here's our setup. Now I haven't put the five gallon or the one pound propane tank on there, but there's the setup. And I let it charge for six hours, but I never did get a green. We'll see. Um, I got a yellow light instead. Maybe that's right. So it says push to unlock. And then you go down somewhere down here. There's a pilot. I see it right there. And then you just turn it on and away you go. Let me fill that up. My original idea, of course, was to drop the uh, drop the uh, the intake into one of these, and then I could just swap these. But I'm not going to be able to get away with that. show everybody my oh, drain works. Okay. Look here. So see everybody I can put a little water in the sink. Would you look underneath there and see if it's leaking anywhere? No, yeah, so see I can wash dishes no, in the same I spot. We can't. Which is another reason I wanted one of these because then um, the water would be more protected than an open bucket of water. Right, right. But I know it has, right? Wash some of that. Alright. Yeah, we got a little water left. The paint tank. Well. It's my work chime. Oh, that's a work chime. Mm -hmm. All right, well, that's snugged up nicely. Okay, that looks good. This all looks doable, doesn't it? Does. It does, it looks very doable. All right, so the power knob's here. Let's see if it picks up the water. It does. The, uh, the shower head thing is leaking like a sieve. Look at that. Oh my God! Yeah. You know this whole thing is ridiculous. So there must be a, uh, a an O ring that fell out in yeah. a box or something. We have the box still. In All the right. Box? In the box. Yeah, let's fix that before I uh, fire this up. All right. Um, boy, the hits keep going. Now I happen to have a, uh, a, a faucet, uh, shiny stainless steel, real braided faucet handle. Uh, and so I robbed that out of there. So we're going to put this piece down in there and tighten this crap out of it. So the, that's why the reviews are split half and half. People who have no expectation but just want hot water on a boat or something, mm -hmm. and they only do it a couple of times a year, sure. You know, and they don't care if it drips on them. They're washing salt water off and they get a hot shower. But somebody who wants it for a 
more formal, uh, they're going to be really unhappy. All right, here we go. There, I fixed the leak, right? As See, they, now, they that's should've. all they needed to do. That's all they needed to do. Nature. I've been so unhappy about this. I'm so glad we found that. It says push to unlock. And then go to the pilot part. And then you press to do it. Yeah, it says press. Let me see. That's a button for me, right? Press and turn the control knob counterclockwise to the ignition position. All right, that's what I did. Press and hold seven to ten seconds. The control oh, knob. Oh, seven to, to ten. Yes, to start the electronic ignition sequence. You will right. hear the clicking sound. Got it. Seven to ten seconds. Mm -hmm. While pressing control knob, check whether the pilot light is reading the indicator on the display. Ignition takes longer, a longer time at the first use for the reason the gas has to run through and fill the gas line. Oh, I see. So the first time it's more mm -hmm. than seven seconds. When the pilot light is lit, then turn the control knob counterclockwise to this end to the setting between max and min for desired water temperature. Well, you know, that's the other thing people wrote about this. They could never get it to fire up. And I imagine that's true if they're, um, there's a chart. Did they want me to do max min or go straight to pilot? Um, it says when the pilot light is lit, then turn the control counterclockwise to, to a setting between the max uh, and okay. the min. I don't hear it going or even trying. So it's on? Yep. Okay. All right. So now we should get hot water. How many seconds did they want you to it, run it with the pilot light? It doesn't doesn't have any seconds. It just says it just once said. it's on, mm -hmm. turn it. Mm -hmm. And everybody said the controls really don't matter a whole lot. And then there's also a chart of indicators. So whatever mm -hmm. lights up, it tells you the warning, low fire. I mean, it gives you. Okay. Well, I hear it. Mm -hmm. So the max is 113. All right. And the minimum is 59. All right. Well, y'all saw it took, I don't know, 30 seconds, yeah. maybe a minute to, well, they said the first time to get would. the uh, gas to flow. The, that's only and the first time it'll take that long. Yeah. Well, every time you change a tank. Yeah. yeah. Right. So every time you change a tank, it'll be that way. Uh, I had to put in my own rubber yeah. thing. I think they just didn't, they didn't put it in or it fell out. Oh, to... put your little fingers there. Oh my god. Now that's that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Okay. That's nice. That's a good sign. That is a good sign. All right, so we'll let this go through. So, uh <laughs> I still would not buy this had I known. It's nothing that was advertised. It said they had the 120 volt uh, for D, uh, AC power. That nobody can even find it. People are buying the cigarette adapters that convert. Who does, who does I mean, that? that's just kind of generic. And then uh, it leaks everywhere. And a lot of people have said it leaks everywhere. Don't even bother with the bag. They said just drop the pump like I did straight and just in. Just make sure you have your own gasket because they, you'll, you'll need, need some them. extra fittings. Unless by chance I didn't get mine in my box, but we looked at the parts list and there's no extra there. fittings. Uh, we'll see how hot this will get and uh, at the very least I can have an indoor field shower in the winter mm -hmm. and we'll see how long this lasts how about that yeah. so uh, this is Steve a thousand year home looky everybody mm -hmm. I can you know but if I wanted to wash dishes right I would want mm -hmm. uh, you know this is as I pick well, it up the max it's gonna is only 113, you know so. it's gonna splash water as I pick it up and down That's awesome. yeah it is awesome uh, you know I could That, that thing, which I knew, see, I need to set up the shower uh, curtain, which I didn't really want to have to do because I can't control it because there's no on and off. 
So well, just, yeah. just be aware. Anyway, I just have to be happy with what I have. I can't send it back. Uh, but I, for those of you watching it, this probably wasn't the best deal. Some people mm -hmm. said Mr. Heat or something like that was a better deal. Look for one that, at the very least, switches and one that mm -hmm. says clearly it has 110 volt. And I think you'll get a higher higher quality build. But uh, it's it makes hot water, you know, in the end of the day. It makes hot water. So Leah's wearing her nerdy Bernadette glasses to help me out. See? I have to be able to see. So. She has. She was my reader. I don't, apparently you don't read. See, and you also have to follow the instructions. Yeah, so the book was okay. It was okay. It was right. So we'll give okay to the book. I would say four out of ten stars. Honestly, I wouldn't have bought I would, it had I given I it a two because you yeah, have to find parts. And, you know, if it lasts a year, then maybe I could bump it up a little bit. Look for something else, I think, my yeah. opinion. Alrighty, uh, like, subscribe, follow me along. But look, I have a shower in here now, everybody. A field a shower. To do just a seat. Look, I, and it doesn't leak. Leah looked under there in my mm -hmm. crappy plumbing job using the cheapest stuff a man could possibly make is holding see, together. See, it did shut down right now, so I'm wondering. What? Well, because maybe the this is hot. Yeah, so that so or, it does shut off when it gets too hot. Oh, popular. look, there's a light that's saying maybe low battery already. Okay, so there's the indicator. Let's go back to the chart. <laughs> So, that was after six full hours of charging. Hot water warning. So maybe that's just a warning that it's hot. Light plus yellow is hot water. Water temperature mm -hmm. is uh, exceeds 131. Mm -hmm. All right. And then low water flow is this one and the and that one. So and I guess that, this is just. So it's a yellow and a red. Hot water warning. Okay, so, so it's see well to be honest I put the I put it in there so it's coming through a little warmer. Mm -hmm. Uh but that water's you know not hot. That's anyway, 70. So there is a chart I'll fire it back up and we'll you see. You can use if you need a chart. All right, so there's the water pressure right there. That's really good water pressure and that's all on battery power. There's it's you know on that unit itself. Uh it did shut off because it said it exceeded 131. We're touching that. I don't feel 131 anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, but I turned it down to minimal. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's where you... Yeah. Uh -huh. But that's look, I got a light and I got where it seeds again. So that's hot water warning. Uh -huh. It's hot just a warning. warning. But so what lights are lighting up? The red and yellow? It's a hot water warning. warning. Well, that's that water's clearly not 131. No, but I'm just saying that's... All right, let's see what it's disabling this thing at. 95. Okay, so. Well, <laughs> that's a long way from 131. 82. Even inside the unit, I'm not getting, I'm just getting 80. Let me look up there. 98, 101. All right. So if it exceeds uh, 122 degrees, it will just, um, it'll warn you. So this is the hot water yeah. warning in the chamber. It'll warn you or it'll turn off? It's turned off. Yeah, so the warning in the t in the chamber will be red and it'll be yellow flashing. And that's when it's Oh, it's red and warning. yellow solid. What's that? That's the warning in the oh, chamber. Oh, gas will be cut off immediately. Mm -hmm. Pump will be shut off in 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. Turn off the control knob and the power button. See mm -hmm. troubleshooting and solve the problem. Then restart the ignition sequence. But it's not flashing. <sighs> but it's it's this yeah. one. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, brand new out of the box. Mm -hmm. Man, okay, two. I'm going to give it a two. I gave it a two. Right? Oh, man. Is this And then just here's awful. the troubleshooting. So I took a shower, and I had it four gallons up. You see, I'm two gallons, maybe, yeah, two gallons down. So two gallons per shower. I was able to keep it all pretty much contained in here. You see a little splashing. Not bad. Uh... I set that to about there, and then I stopped getting the flame warning of overheated. It says once it gets over 131, it'll shut off. Now, I'm not very user-friendly, uh, not very well-made. Still not super, super happy for $300, to be honest. But um, I, if it gets me a whole year or something, I'll be fine. And then I uh, have the self-soaping... Uh, uh, bath wipes that you can use that are all natural so uh you know like for people who are invalids and laid up you know that uh, i could just sponge off ph neutral is what i'm doing there 
So, all right. And then, you know, eventually I'll, when I, next time I shower, I'll flip this up, see if it's leaking anywhere under there, cut the carpet out, put down whatever I need to do. If I need to seal coat it, uh, I don't want mold building up, but, um, I think that this will get me through Leah. So I could drywall, I yeah. can mud, I could do a bunch of stuff. So, uh, all right. Hmm. It worked. I'm I look cleaner. I was looking like a, a, a Dick Van Dyke off of uh, Mary Poppins, covered with soot. All right, like, subscribe, follow us. Bye.